Hello, Miranda. Hi. Hello, Internet. For, um, it's Friday. We went to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania this morning. We didn't record it because, um, we didn't watch a recording, the presentation and all that stuff. We went to the visitor center and we saw a video about the battle. And then we saw the, what was that thing called? This, the circle picture? I can't remember either. But it was a painting from like 1863 and it was in a circle. Um, about like the third day of the fight. It was pretty interesting. And they put some lights on it and some bomb noises. Then there was a, a gift shop. Uh, no, there was a museum. Uh, had a lot of old guns and bullets and a bone and a gift shop. And then we left. We drove through Harrisburg, PA, which uh, had traffic. We got to see an accident. Probably someone playing on their phone ran into the back of someone else. That was cool. And we're on our way to Centralia. We're back into the spooky part of PA. Just dense forests and nothing else. And uh, the dense forests of their skinny, tall trees with no leaves on them. We'll uh, pop the camera again once we get to the town on fire. There's a sign for the town. We're almost there. There's a lot of um, towns and people and cars around here. I thought it would be in the middle of nowhere, but it's totally... Uh, you know, there's businesses, gas stations, grocery stores, uh, Ford Explorer behind us. So, and the road just turned red. The red of the blood of the people of Centralia. Google Maps says we're here. And so far there's nothing out of the ordinary. There's even a car being, we've seen three cars since we've been here. Um, but of course, Google Maps hasn't been able to find anything for us on this trip. So for all I know, we're in the wrong state. But, uh, <laughs> we're driving. Is that sign? Headliners replaced? Yeah, there's advertisements for automotive work. Um, I, I don't know. Navigator. This doesn't look like a town on fire to me. And look at this internet. It's just a road. There's some windmills. They're not on fire. Dodge Ram behind us, not on fire. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. Miranda, where's Centralia? totally different county so I'm having a little trouble trusting my navigator later all right Centralia fans we've been driving around what's left of Centralia for like a half hour and it's really just a couple of sidewalks some really banged up roads it really looks like a place that local kids use to drink beer got this cemetery which is pretty banged up too well maintained I guess it's really creepy looking yeah 50 oh that's a one-year-old ouch oh. uh-huh yeah it's it's got this tired old cemetery according to my according to my foot there's a giant steel rod sticking out of the ground here. According to my Google Maps, right over this hill on the left is the vent pipes. Oh, that's a puddle. They put in these vent pipes to try to vent the gases and then some super smart liberals said that the vent pipes were letting oxygen down. So definitely we got a pipe here.
got a pipe here. Not warm. There's rocks in there? Yeah. How do you know? I can see a hole. Rocks in it. You think that's how they sealed them? Yeah. They just poured rocks in there? Yeah. Looks like the locals do some off-roading back here. Dirt bikes and such. Looks fun for that. Ice cold. There's no fire under these pipes. How do you know that? Because I touched it. All right, we still haven't found this melty road covered in graffiti, so we're gonna go look for that. But we're running out of Centralia pretty quick. Never was a very big town. It is right at the intersection of two major highways. There's hundreds of cars that drive through Centralia every day. It's not rural like I suspected. We're just going over this pile of dirt. All right, internet. Um, we're 11 months too late. They covered that melted graffiti highway in April of 2020. I guess the majority of Centralia is owned by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, so it's public property. But that highway, which is kind of the most famousest thing out here, was owned by some uh, shithead company who saw it as a liability. It was the sixth most visited place in Pennsylvania, which makes sense. There's not a lot going on here. And uh, they covered it in dirt. They brought in uh, hundreds of truckloads of dirt with semis and just covered the whole thing up because somebody might get a boo-boo. Cancel culture, canceled. Thanks millennials, thanks Biden.